Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Machia the God, and today I want to talk about Usopp. Usopp. Now we love Usopp. Now I've been waiting to meet Usopp in in the while well, reading the manga, and I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I got to read his story, and it is just absolutely phenomenal. He, the brave man, Usopp the brave. I think, you know, he's a unique character. I don't know, maybe not unique. Maybe unique isn't the right word, but he. Man, imagine he's like the boy who cried wolf. Except he, he I don't want to say he did it. For, he did do it for good reasoning. Like he did it for himself, and he cared, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. I think Usopp, for me, is a character that cares, and I think he cares beyond what is the typical. You know what I'm saying? Like my dude is weak. Well, he's actually not weak. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, you know, I, I remember him being weak when I watched the anime, but actually, he's not weak at all. I'm not going to lie to you. He's actually tough enough, man, because he took hella whoopings. And and on top of that, his aim is literally 100%. He was like, I didn't miss when he, you know, when Zoro blocked his shot. He's like, I didn't miss. And then, of course, there's the, the lady, Kaya. Is it Kaya? I can't, I can't remember her name. But the lady that he saved... The sick, the sick woman's uh, tales. That shit was beautiful as well. The fact that, like, you know, she been bedridden because her parents died, and this man has just been praying on her downfall, bro. <laughs> the captain with the claws was praying on this girl's downfall, man. Imagine tricking motherfuckers for three years, pretending to be a butler for three years for some money, bro, man. People are people are conniving. People are conniving, but it's not it's not out of the question, it's not out of pocket, it makes sense. It does really, really make sense. Um but I just gotta say like Usopp's character is just he's I think he's my favorite character already. <laughs> I already knew he was gonna be my favorite character. It was prerequisite, it was predetermined, baby. It was all that's supposed to happen. It's and for me it's the bravery, man. For me it's the bravery. For me it's the and this is only, you know, chapter forty two Usopp from you know, for the past fifteen chapters that he's been there. Uh, a few chapters that he's been there, so it's not, it's not, uh, it's not like Usopp at chapter one thousand whatever. So again, this is chapter zero to forty two, Usopp. So this is fresh off the boat, just just hopping on the boat, Usopp, just becoming a pirate, Usopp, fake pirate, liar, Usopp. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the brave Usopp. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just the 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 thing I really like about Usopp here is the fact that he. He didn't even want the glory, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though he was sad that people didn't believe him, he was sad that that the girl didn't believe him. He didn't. He he didn't stop him. Instead of him wallowing in his pity, he went out there and found and tried to find a way to fight. Try to find a way to stop them. He was willing to do it by himself. By himself, even when he was bleeding, busted, beat up, my dude was crawling, doing everything possible. To protect what he cares about. And I think there's, there's, there's just an artistic beauty to that, if you ask me. I think there's a, there's a beautiful story in that, if you, if you ask me. And that's why I like Usopp, man. He really, he cares beyond belief, despite not having the power to do too much. Because obviously, without Zoro and without, and without um, Luffy, there's no way he's winning this fight. But yet, he didn't care. He didn't care. He, he, he told his crew, he lied to his crew and told them, yeah, actually, I lied. So that they can keep away. He... He tried to tell the village to escape. They wouldn't do it. He was like, fuck it. Then I'm off in a fight. And even after he saves everybody, he tells, nah, don't, don't tell them. But, but Usopp, you did everything for us. Don't tell them. Let them keep that peace of mind that nobody attacks them, bro. That's, bro, I'm, I almost cried, bro. I love, bro, Usopp, man. These days, these days I'm, I'm getting the sniffles way too much, man. I, I'm getting soft in my old ass age, bro. God damn. My tender age of 59. I'm like LeBron James, tender age of 59 and shit. Still, still balling up. You know what I'm saying? Still balling up. But no, I really, like, just the character of Usopp and the story and the arc, you know what I'm saying? And the way Zoro and, and Luffy react to him, you know, and you can tell that they they look up to him, bro. Like, literally, they're, they're so proud. Like, whenever they see him fight and just go through everything he's going through, they're looking at him, they're like, nah, Usopp is the boy. And even Luffy's like, 
you could never be you could never be Usopp because his mind can't be defeated. He doesn't quit. He doesn't give up. The captain of that sh ship that quit because he didn't want the notorious the, no, the his name to be too notorious and a hassle and da 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 da. He quit on himself. He quit on his dreams. Luf, uh, uh, Usopp, nah, nah. Usopp was finna die for that shit. Ten times over, hundred times over, he would have died for that shit, bro. My dude's body gave in, collapsed, and he was like, he was still like. But I still must do it. Like, my dude was about to crawl with his fucking chin, bro. That's <laughs> that's dedication beyond belief, bro. That's dedication beyond belief. I love that shit. That reminds me of Naruto when he fought, when he fought Gara. you know what I'm saying, with Gamabuto. Like, he was willing to fucking crawl there to save that boy. Like, I, I just, I love when a character has so much willpower. And I think that's, I think that's the beauty of manga. That's the beauty of, of comics. That's the beauty of storytelling. Because this superhuman ability to just keep going and keep pushing, it really, like, I think it really helps the youth. It really helps kids. It really helps people when they're chasing the goals and dreams. The fact that, like, they never give an up aspect. And yes, you might never, you might never get there, right? But that's, that's, that, that's a part of it, right? It's the never stopping. It's the, it's the obsession. It's the, it's the drive. It's the love and belief. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, this shit makes me feel like I can do anything in the world and I will do anything in the world. And so with you, God damn it, bro. I'm, 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 I'm out here talking so soft and I know it's supposed to be about Usopp. And it is about Usopp, and I really wanted to break down his character because I think it's pivotal, even when he was telling stories, because I think he felt comfort in the false stories he told himself to, and tried to tell his mother, not even himself, he tried to tell his mom in order to give her hope so that she can keep living. And he thought, let me try it with this young girl and hopefully it works. And he did that shit, bro, like, and he did that shit. And he really gave her hope. Excuse me. And I think there's a beauty in that, the fact that he goes there every day for the past year to tell her a story. Even when he's not allowed to go there, he climbs. Even when he's not, you know what I'm saying? And when you're, you're the captain, Captain fucking <laughs> Claus, Captain Claus, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's chatting shit about him and he's, he doesn't care. But when he's chat, start chatting shit about his pirate dad, he's like, no, no, no. Because, and I think one of the reasons he, he, he still has love for his dad is because his mom said that I don't regret marrying him. He is a great guy. He just, you know, he just went after his dreams. He just went doing something else. And I think that's what gave him hope that his dad is the person his mom says she, he is. And I think that's why he couldn't take any disrespect because, for it. Because even though he feels like his dad was the reason for his mom dying, but his mom is accepting of it. He's not accepting nobody dissing his dad. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just, it's just a, a beautiful circle, man. I, I, really, I really do think that just what I read there in those past few chapters, like, uh, he's just... You know what I'm saying? It's really beautiful. And the fact that even he, his dad, because remember, and I think it's actually when I was reading chapter, was it one or two? I remember thinking that looks like Luffy. Like, no, that looks like Usopp's dad or some shit. That looked like Usopp. But I was like, uh, I was like, uh, it's probably just not. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tripping. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? We see that. Oh, it, it is. <laughs> it is his dad. And I like the, the way Oda kind of had that pre-placed. You know what I'm saying? That his dad works with Shanks. And that kind of connects him and Luffy's story naturally. You know what I'm saying? Because Zoro is kind of slapped in there because Zoro is just lit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You need Zoro. And I like that you have these characters that aren't necessarily connected with Luffy. And then you have a character that's also connected with him. And, and you know, he's like, I'm going to become a pirate. And he was willing to just go out by, and be a pirate by himself. But obviously, Luffy and the crew were like, come on, you got to join us. Like, you are part of us. Like, you are one of us. Like, because they, they, they have that bond in terms of, like, they want to do good. You know what I'm saying? They want to be pirates and they, they don't care if they'll, they'll see it as villains, but they want to do the right thing. What they believe in is the right thing. And that's that's the most important for them. And that's why they, they fell in love with, with, with Usopp, because it was just like this this guy is willing to do whatever he takes. Um, and, and it is beautiful, man. Honestly, I was just reading it. I was super excited. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And his bravery, man, I, I call him Usopp the Brave. And I think that's that's what I might title this video. I, I know it's not super clickbaity or whatever, but I don't really care, man. I, I think Usopp the Brave, man. I think that's the title worthy of Usopp, bro. And I think even, like, ugh, I don't know, bro. It's just, you know, he's just, I don't know. He's he, he's such a cool character for me. Uh, I like his design as well. His design is really interesting. Uh, I, I he's, But his personality, man, I think his personality is everything. Uh how he even, you know, was willing to die for those kids, bro. He was like, bro, 
for these kids, for this girl, for this village, man. I'm willing to fight and fight and fight and fight, bro. And I love that, bro. Fight, fight, fight. That is that is the only that's the only thing, bro. That's the only thing to believe in. You know what I'm saying? Um and I, I I'm just excited to read more about him. I'm just excited. I'm just excited to to read more more and more about about Usopp because I think what what you know if you look at Zoro and if you look at Luffy, they do do brave but do strong. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to say Usopp is weak, but he he ain't he ain't special like those guys. But you know what he's special about him? He's mine, bro. His mind is special, bro. His mind is 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 beautiful, bro. Um, and the kids, the way the kids even reacted to him, they were like not believing him, and then they're like, "That don't make sense, bro." I, like, wow, Captain is always righteous, despite him lying. And even like even even like Luffy and them were like shocked, like, "Wait, this guy lies to this sick girl." And you guys are like, "It's a great thing. It's a nice thing." Like, what? And this is after you know Luffy was denying him to join the crew because, of course, like they're like. Hey, he wants to be captain and be the, like, why would we let you join the crew? And then hold him hold and behold. Behold. And <laughs> I I just fucked that up. I was I was gonna say, lo and behold, boom. Usopp, it turns out he's doing this shit because he cares. He's doing this shit because he's a he's a beautiful soul. He's doing this shit because because that's just the type of person he is. And he's just like, God damn, bro. God damn. And and so I'm just like I don't know I feel I feel like you know if you have a friend like Usopp in real life man just never lose that person bro like Usopp the brave man you know what I'm saying but I I, I don't even know if this video really made sense I just really wanted to to talk I was gonna say rant but to talk about Usopp bro I really just wanted to 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 throw flowers at Usopp's feet because I really think he is a fantastic character and a unique character and I'm just I'm happy that you know what I'm saying. A character like him exists, and and he might be black too. So I'm sorry. So we all say, hey, hey, black anime characters, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? The brave boy. But um, uh, yeah, man. If you if you're not reading one one piece, like I started like 20 years late, but I'm out here now reading one piece, and I I must say I'm really really enjoying it. The story is unique. Uh, the characters are very bubbly. You know what I'm saying? They're very exciting, and I, I like exciting characters. I hope you like exciting characters, and um, having a blast and. Bro, that's all I can say. It's been your boy Supreme Chia the God. If you ain't know about Usopp, you finna learn today. I'm out.